Hello everyone. I am Dr. S. Manasa, SGM Professor from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, I am going to talk about the general analysis and the general uh, tools. So, in the previous class, we have discussed about the gender analysis matrix. So, with respect to that, uh, this gender analysis and uh, how it is done, where it is done, where it is done and when to do that, uh, how to do that. So, all this prospective manners let us discuss and also we will discuss about what are the gender analysis tools based on which we carry out this uh, gender analysis today. So, you all know that uh, gender analysis gender is a social construction depending upon the time and the culture. So, it is not based on the genes uh, but uh, based on the, the socio cultural activity that you carry out. Uh, in a particular community and uh, women's men's uh, division of labor and uh, access as well as control over the resources is uh, different so based on the gender and their capability to do heavy works are the uh, low means uh, less uh, he heavier works uh, is based on the their uh, the gender division so that division of labor is been uh, carried out uh, so but this is uh, also is limiting to the access of control as well as access of chances as well as control over the sources so each ha gender has their own um, the access as well as uh, the control or the availability of different resources. Um, so, there is a global gender inequality in favor of men by default it is happening but uh, uh, the equality should be there between both uh, but uh, so this uh, inequality is been happening. So, we have a uh, constraint uh, prospect is that uh, that particular gender is fixed for the particular work like how men's work when we say men's work uh, we immediately get an idea that uh, they will work for money so that will be paid work and uh, they are considered to be more important because they go out uh, and bring money for the survival but when it comes to the women's work when you say women's work then uh, the work that uh, women carries always uh, like it is work at home or it can be unpaid work uh, and the taking care of the kids and the family so staying at home so that comes into mind so it is even uh, less important and uh, it is not reproductive work uh, so it is unpaid work so due to the general discrimination uh, that women do not get their fair share of opportunities as well as benefits uh, so this discrimination is uh, being carrying out uh, over the generations uh, so the question is uh, can development initiatives fail because they do not consider the gender so is because of that uh, the development uh, development is not happening or the initiatives are becoming failed uh, so let us see just have a look at this uh, uh, example like uh, this person uh, we have brought uh, food for everyone uh, go get from the tree so you know that there are different animals here which can climb up the tree and which cannot climb up like for example if you see this is a uh, this cannot go onto the tree and give the food and uh, like a uh, chick and a small frog is there and uh, it is being compared with a big elephant uh, and all these animals so if you can see this uh, so it is like opportunity is kept the same and allowed to get access over that so what would be the questions that arise in your mind is uh, do you think this is an equal opportunity for all animals no not at all so does same thing happens in the development of any project maybe yes because uh, the chances or the opportunities are kept open but they don't see 
who requires what and who will be able to get the foods so whoever has a they or no way means uh, the persons or the uh, people who can get through that uh, who are able to get uh, who has a capability then only can get those opportunities uh, so what should be done instead so first of all uh, we have to analyze this so what kind of uh, animals means uh, it is same applicable for uh, the society people also uh, seeing that uh, the opportunity what that we provide is it for all or whether it is suitable or not uh, instead of studying what kind of uh, people are there so based on that you try to give the uh, the opportunity so that's what this gender analysis say about so first of all you analyze that what are there what is the situation what kind of different persons are there so if you provide an opportunity when whether they will be able to accept or whether they are in a position to take it or not so that we have to see so what are the implicit assumptions of development of a any program so there are some assumptions that uh, why we try to develop a program we think that uh, this uh, can be there so this is just an assumption may not be true so assumptions uh, during any project design or the implementation so what can be the assumptions so men are the heads of households so we by uh, default think that uh, always men are the heads of the household so this project activities for economic benefits uh, should focus on men and uh, Housework is or the child care work is not of much effort. So they think that uh, the women that carry the work, the household work or the caretaking work, may not be of worth. So we should think that uh, women can handle outside work with the housework as well as and uh, women's priorities go. unnoticed uh, so let us not uh, um, make the priorities of the women to go unnoticed uh, and women do care work so interventions related to the family health uh, should focus on the men so these are the um, assumptions and what kind of development should be done so the development be benefits uh, will automatically Reach women once uh, these assumptions, uh, these assumptions are uh, kept aside and move towards the implementation of these things. So such kind of uh, analysis should be done. So these are uh, the assumptions. So first of all, these assumptions should be kept constant uh, and then look over the implementation of all these things. So, so then only you can achieve the benefits or uh, women can take benefits and they can achieve more so let us come to the the actual part what is gender analysis so as a terminology wise uh, gender analysis is a tool based uh, analysis so based on what are all the factors it is uh, carried out is uh, for uh, better understand to understand better and uh, the different social so uh, this analysis done on what on different social uh, factors or the people as well as social economic uh, cultural and political reality so you move to the people of different communities and get the information from them uh, so based on their availability their lifestyle uh, lifestyle and culture as well as economical and political aspects of women men girls boys etc so all the members of the family they can be 
old ones, mid generation, younger generation. So, complete community, the detailed analysis of the community of a particular place or the region or the culture is analyzed. So, as it's a core understanding culture, so what are the underlying values, norms, and beliefs? And it is expressed in construction of a gender identities as well as inequalities. So it gives so once you understand what is the the core values that they have and what kind of culture they are being followed. So this complete analysis gives so the the data about uh, the construction of uh, gender constraints so where all it is uh, having a loop so and what are the advantages so what can be done to implement that particular community or the people so what are the goals of uh, this gender analysis uh, is um, to better understand our community so this is for the betterment of the community so get better results from the development program so you design such a development program such that they give the better results and what gender analysis will provide so after the gender analysis what information you get analysis of division of labor and you also get the information of access and control of resources so based on these things so you do the analysis then what you understand from this gender analysis is gender relations you will understand their implementations for development policy as well as for implementation so the implications for development of policy and implementation as well as uh, specific gender disaggregated statistics you get so a review on uh, of women priorities so, so women practical needs and the strategic insect interests uh, and the way to address them so these are all uh, you get uh, from this analysis so you and also this gives uh, a review of uh, social economic political power dynamics uh, and also the absence of uh, gender analysis propose high risk of program failure less success or reinforce inequality so what will happen if you don't do this gender analysis because unless in other ways you understand what is there of a particular community so what is there what is happening you cannot get the data and you cannot analyze and you cannot give any implementation program or uh, encouraging kind of things so unless you understand what is happening there then only you can design such a implementation program which will be useful so if the ga is gender analysis is not done then you will be at high risk of uh, first of all program failure and if though implemented you may see very less success as well as uh, this may result again in the inequality gender inequality and uh, gender analysis of health program so there are examples uh, based on this uh, gender analysis like uh, how and uh, how what factors they are considering so gender analysis of health program will inform you how inequalities disadvantage human health and the constraints of women face and ways to overcome the constraints. So in general analysis of women worker situations, their needs, workplace, wages, market trends will provide practical information to advocates for all. So, so for the woman worker situation, so if they have told that this is the um, based on what they have done, so women's worker situation they have uh, analyzed. Uh, so, what are the factors? Their needs, the workplace, wages, as well as market trends. Uh, 
has provided the practical information to get a advocate or men so whether the proper thing is going on for the women or not or any kind of information has to be done in general analysis of a product supply chain will tell you women's involvement at a different stages in the supply chain so to increase their visibility and uh, gain the economic benefits so uh, gender analysis of water project will inform you where women can collect the water what should be done to increase the women's access to the safe water so so on each topic if you can see so this analysis is done on water project and this is product to supply chain and this is women's worker situation and this is health program so particular topic you have for the gender analysis so what are the factors so based on that you are doing as uh, in relevant to that sub matter so you have many factors like uh, uh, inequalities disadvantages and what is the women health so, and uh, what are the constraints for the women health situation so like that for every topic you have some uh, to um clear cut uh, the headings are the factors so based on that you do the analysis and get the complete report uh, so based on that you can see how ca what kind of uh, implementation can be done so now the question arises when to do this gender analysis gender analysis uh, should or can be undertaken at any all stages of the program or the project cycle so it can be done at any time any stage of uh, cycle so one is identification of project so first of all unless you have these things uh, now you cannot plan for the general analysis so first you have to find out what is the problem or the that means uh, your project uh, and plan planning and uh, designing of the activity so how you have to plan and uh, how to do the designing of the activity and as well as after you get the analysis you do the implementation of that program and then once implemented then you have to have monitoring over that as well as evaluation of that program time to time so these are all factors uh, that you should have into your mind when you try to conduct a gender analysis then the next question is who will do this who should do the gender analysis so gender analysis can be done either by the government policy makers or the donors or program managers and also development staff as well as field workers so all these can do the gender analysis so this should be participatory involving key stakeholders from the field where the intervention is to take place so gender analysis can be conducted through i throughout a variety of tools as well as frameworks so you should have some tools that means what on what basis you are doing and on based on some frameworks so we will see in the uh, next uh, like what are the tools and the frameworks so, so how to do the gender analysis again so how to do is so here comes the actual answer like first of all you should uh, collect the relevant data so what kind of the information that you get so six disaggregated information analysis that means so uh, like if you plan that this this is for particular gender but uh, in that community or the particular place so that may not be followed so that comes under disaggregated information so first of all you have to know down so who is not following so who does what and uh, what are the gender roles responsibilities and the priorities of men and women both within and outside of the household so who has what who controls what so you have to ha have the, all these questions for in order to collect the 
relevant to data. So are they following? So who are doing what? What are the importance of their specific gender? And what are the responsibilities are the uh, given to the both the genders? And how uh, the priorities are like uh, how the priorities are given to the men and women and either inside house as well as in the outside that means in the community. The next factor is identify the relevant gender issue. So first of all once you collect the information then uh, identify what is the issue there. So women means uh, practical and strategic means. So what are these uh, things uh, uh, so where the issue is happening so first of all you identify that as well as understand the institutional economic social political context so where are the differences where are the constraints or influences or power dynamics are played in between men and women so you have to have the understanding of all these economically socially politically institutionally so how they are different and also understand the priorities and the needs of both women and women men affected by the project what do they need so how this project is being helpful and understanding their priorities and needs for both men as well as for both men as well as women and gender analysis framework so these are on the based on the topics how you do and then comes the frameworks so there are different uh, frameworks uh, so gender role frameworks so that is given by the harvard so this is also called the harvard framework and uh, triple roles framework so carolyn moster so this is web of institutionalization of framework so this is given by karen levy so web of institutionalization framework and gender analysis matrix so this we have discussed already equality and empowerment of framework uh, then that is given by this are a long way and uh, capacities vulnerabilities framework that is called ceba people oriented planning framework so pop and the social relation framework so that is called srf so all these are the framework so you should have some framework on this based on whose framework analysis uh, framework you are doing the analysis so these are all the frameworks so, so coming to the first framework that is harvard framework so what this framework is about so this help planners design efficient projects it improves the visibility of women in a target area so it is mainly focused on the uh, women so it has uh, three main tools uh, one is social economic activity profile so this tool one is based on socio economic activity so it discuss about what the who does what when where as well as for how much time so based on the men and women discrimination what they do how they do what is the time required so this is what socio-economic activity profile so let us see how it is so for example you have taken two concepts that is productive or livelihood activities and reproductive activities so Two factors you have taken that is nothing but the activities and uh, gender you have that is men or the women and then the time factor. So, as we discussed previously, in the gender analysis matrix so it is based on uh, the different factors like here you consider men, women, household, and community. Here, then what kind of the work? So, labor, what is the work, time, and what are the resources, and what is the culture so here with respect to the productive or livelihood activities so it comes it, uh, it has what agriculture income generation employment others so all these included in the uh, productive so generally when it comes to the male or female gender factors then 
agriculture is uh, is given by the male and income generation is by male employment is by male so r is by men only and time time it can be income see if the agri if it is agriculture it can be seasonal income generation also is based on see uh, seasonal but if it is employment uh, it is there every time means uh, all over the days so, so coming to the next factor that is reproductive activity so that can be like uh, getting water fuel food as well as child care health care cleaning and repairing and then market and other factors so if we can consider the reproductive activities productive generally we have we are in assumption i mean so most of the places where this is there productive work is being carried out by the men whereas reproductive work or non productive work is being carried out by the women so when it comes to the terms of water so getting water is women's job and fuel most of the women are involved to get the fuel and then uh, child care obviously the woman and then health uh, is also cleaning and repair can also by women only market so taking things from the market can be either women or men and uh, other things mostly women will take care so and uh, based on the time so how much you time spend time for these activities like uh, for example for water every day for example to us and every day you go for getting fuel and every day you get prepare food and child care can be some four hours and uh, the others are um, not mentioned because that can be a small thing work or uh, or it is there all over the day so these are the activity profiles so with respect to the tool one that is nothing but socio economic activity profile so this is based on what harvard framework so let us see all the frameworks and the remaining tools in this so how the analysis is carried out in the next class so these are the references thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates